Hi everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about rationality and discussion. Really quick, this is going to be really off the cuff, but I noticed quite a few comments on my uh, King Crocoduck versus Ray Comfort video uh, talking about, you know, I made some, some assertions in that video that, you know, Ray Comfort should make some sort of an attempt to understand the theory of evolution before he's qualified to make a video, um, you know, tearing it apart. And uh, I'm assuming theists, but some, some people uh, commented on there saying, well, you know, if, if something is, is real, then it, you should be able to explain it in simple terms, et cetera, et cetera. And I, and I was thinking about this today after watching an Eric Hoven video about rationality and the desire to understand things. So there are terms, you know, so Ray Comfort used a term in, in the video that King Crocodile uploaded of, you know, of kinds, kinds of animal. He's even called, I think he termed the kitten kind, <laughs> which I find um, ironic. Anyway, uh, and and a sort of railing against him on terms and people have said, well, you know, species and, and uh, genotypes and blah, 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 all these different terms, you know, they, they're unnecessary. You should be able to explain these things in layman's terms. And I thought a lot about that and I thought, you know, I'm a mechanic, and when my customers come to see me, I can dumb things down, for lack of a better term, um, and, and explain things in layman's terms so they sort of understand what they're paying for, they understand what I did for them. And so I understand that, but there's a difference between sort of doing that and the person sort of shutting down and shutting off and not, not being receptive to it. And I think that's where we are with someone like Ray Comfort. He doesn't want to understand the theory of evolution. Uh, he's just being obtuse, right? And so, yeah, I could go to a customer and say, um, we had a, a parasitic current draw, you know, or uh, my fuel injection cleaner uses columbic fractionation, you know, and of course, eyes would just glaze over. No, I explain things in layman's terms. And they have a vested interest in understanding what I'm saying, so they're open and receptive to it, because they're paying for it, right? And it works quite well. And so I understand what people are saying in the comments section when they say that you, know, you should be able to explain these things in layman's terms. It's just that to explain a complex theory in layman's terms still requires a fair deal of time and a lot of receptiveness on the part of the person that you're explaining it to. And those things do not exist when it comes to Ray Comfort. So I just wanted to express that uh, it, it's a little bit silly to sort of say, well, you shouldn't have to use these large words. You can say it in layman's terms when the person has no desire whatsoever to learn in the first place. Earlier today, I watched a Creation Today video, and uh, Eric Hoven and Paul Taylor were talking about, uh, do we, can we know more than God? And uh, they were saying, you know, that, that evolutionists, um, you know, they rely on their, their reasoning and their ability to think to develop their theories of, the, of uh, their worldview, whereas they prefer to rely on God. They're gonna, they're gonna rest on God. That's their authority. And I thought, you know, how disingenuous can you be? Now keep in mind, these are the same guys who are creating this Genesis 3D movie, which should be coming out soon. And I've got a few things to say on that too, I think. I'd almost like to do a pre-commentary um, pre and a post-commentary before and after I watch it, because I've got some concerns about what it's going to be, and it'd be interesting to see how those play out. But saying that, you know, scientists use their reasoning and their thinking, no mention of the evidence, the empirical data that they collect, right? You know, only just their reasoning. And then to say, well, we have, we don't have that as our authority, we have God as our authority. Well, no, you reason too. Poorly, I might add. But you're reasoning too. You're taking your authority from a book that you have decided through your reasoning to be valid. You're not relying on God. Has he spoken to you? Uh, as it was, as uh, Jim Carrey said in Pet Detective, does he call you at home? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, um, it's really disingenuous to say that scientists rely on their reasoning, implying nothing else, and we rely on God, the supreme being, and not your reasoning, not your reasoning about your little book. 
Um, interest, anyway, I think it's interesting, and it is interesting to note that these are the guys who are talking about, uh, if you look through Creation Today, they did a, a Q&A with the directors of Creation 3D recently, and they were talking about some of the different facets, which I find ironic too, you know, will Adam and Eve be naked, you know, oh, we can't, we can't show that in a fallen world, and Eric Hoven made some comment about how, well, the secular schools would just love that, wouldn't they, you know, because uh, I guess... Christian kids aren't attracted to uh, the nude form, <laughs> um, but in in that in that Q and A, they were discussing should atheists watch this movie, and Eric said, "Oh well, they'll be challenged. They are really going to be challenged. They're going to come out of there going, oh boy, I, this really challenges my worldview." Well, if it's anything like your little discussion about uh, can we be smarter than God? It remains to be seen, but I kind of doubt it. Thanks, everyone, for watching.